Hey guys, it's been a minute, but I'm back. I have been busy building the studio, the whole space around here. If you want to see a tour of the place, let me know in the comments below and then I can... The one thing that I have learned from running a design studio is that you are not working so much with companies, but you actually do work with people. And it's all about keeping up these relationships. Happy clients are clients that come back often and that want to work with you on a regular basis. So, salespeople do have a system called a CRM, a Customer Relationship Management System, where they track every client, they keep a contact list of all the people they talk to, every lead, every conversation, every email exchange, every personal talk, everything goes in that system. And actually, this is what I would need. However, it's a bit much. So in the past weeks, I have been going through CRM systems, through tons and tons of different software as a service, things that you can install, open source softwares, just to find the right system. And in the end, I ended up building it myself. And I'm gonna show you how. So the first thing that you want to know is the company name, the account name, the client name, the name that is on the invoice, the legal entity that you have a contract with that pays you. This is the first field that we want to put on our client relationship management system. The second thing is the name of the person, the actual human being that you are having interaction with, the person that you speak to. Now we want to divide these two things because you might be working with multiple people in the same company, uh, especially when you have a bigger project and there is several parts or you have several projects with the same company as in our case. So we do have bigger clients where we do have multiple project managers, multiple contacts in the same company. And of course I want to manage all of them individually. The next thing that goes on my list is the date and this is the last day that I had interaction with this person. So this could be anything from an email, from a personal talk, a phone call, a Slack message, anything. I just want to see when is the last time I checked in with that person. And then of course I want to keep a status. Is the person happy? Do they need my attention? Have I not spoken to them in a while maybe? So that is the next column on my list here that I want to put up. And then, of course, I want to put an actionable. If the person needs something from me, if I owe them something, I want to know what it is I need to be working on or what I need to send to them or what I need to talk to them about. Anything that uh, yeah, goes into that exchange goes into the actionable column. So these five fields are all I need for my little CRM. And of course, I have not only sketched it out, but I have started building it in Google Sheets. So why Google Sheets, you may ask. Of course, I could have done it in Airtable or Notion or Obsidian or any other of these fancy productivity tools. And yeah, that's totally possible. Google Sheets is a relatively simple solution for me. And also I'm paying for the Google Workspace package. So this is something that I am using anyways. Here's how I use it. Every morning I would go through my list and check the dates and the contacts. What is the status? Do they need something from me? Have I not been in touch with a person for a while now? And then I just shape my to-do list according to the client health list. Whenever I had a conversation with someone, whenever I sent somebody an email or worked through something or just chatted with them, I would update the date here in my list as well. And of course, I would update the status. So when everything's good, I change the label to healthy. If they need something from me, I change the label to needs action. And if I haven't spoken to someone in a while, I change it to needs attention. When I complete a task or I check in with someone, I do it the same way, just the other way around. So I change the label to healthy um, and change the date to today's date. 
This way I can also set soft goals for myself saying I want to check in with my clients every 48 hours to make sure that they don't forget me and that I keep regularly in touch with them. Of course you can find a link to this Google Sheet in the description so make sure you give it a spin and see if it works for you as well. Now look in this list I can see that I haven't been checking in with Sophia uh, since two weeks now actually which is a bad thing and I will actually work on that now. So I will see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm really looking forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye. <laughs>